welcome to thepioneerwoman.com. If you've been here before, you may notice that things look a little different, and I'm usually the one that's resistant to change, but this is a change I am so excited about. I have had this website since 2006, and I started it completely on a whim just to share stories of raising my kids, I started sharing recipes over time and it just evolved into something I never could have imagined. And 15 years later, I can't believe I'm still here and I'm so grateful for this website because it allows me to connect with all of you. So this brings me to my big announcement. I have been working hard behind the scenes to reimagine this website. And my goal is to bring you a whole bunch of new content, new recipes, shopping tips, really simple design ideas. And I've been working with a great team of editors that's gonna help me get all of this content off the ground. Of course, I will be here continually telling stories of my cute husband, hubba hubba, <laughs> sharing pictures of the dogs, the ranch, and of course, all the things I'm cooking. So I could not be more excited about this. I'm so glad you're here, and I can't wait to see what's to come. Welcome to my new frontier. Hi, I'm Ree Drummond, also known as the Pioneer Woman, and I'm gonna make one of my favorite recipes of all time. I'm making macaroni and cheese. I always say I probably wouldn't have grown as a child if macaroni and cheese didn't exist because it's pretty much all I ate for the first decade of my life. So I'm starting by buttering the dish. Now you can buy the stuff in the little blue box at the grocery store, but if you can make macaroni and cheese from scratch, you can pretty much do anything. Now the roux is just butter, which we melt in a Dutch oven. To the melted butter, I'll just sprinkle in some flour. Let this cook for just a couple of minutes. And then when it's bubbling, I'll add in some whole milk. So what this roux will do is thicken the milk. It'll make this yummy, bubbly white sauce. And we'll let this cook for a couple of minutes, three or four if it's not getting thick. And when it's bubbling, I'm going to add in some dry mustard, and that gives the macaroni and cheese just a nice little je ne sais quoi. Okay, this is getting nice and bubbly. Now I'll add a little salt and some pepper. Now this is an optional step, but to add a little richness to the macaroni, I like to add a beaten egg. But if you add an egg right into the hot roux, it could scramble the egg, which would add for an interesting texture. So I beat an egg in a bowl, and then I grab a little bit of the hot roux and spoon it in while I whisk it with a fork. And this will temper the eggs and get them warm enough so that when you add them back into the roux, it won't cook the eggs. This just adds a nice little extra richness to the macaroni that really puts it over the top. And when it's really, really hot, I'm gonna add shredded cheddar cheese. Now, I shredded this myself, and I found that if you use the pre-grated shredded cheese from the grocery store, it's coated in a little bit of a cornstarch substance, and it can make for a grainy macaroni and cheese, so I always grate my own cheese for macaroni. Just dump it on in, and this is where it starts to get good. This is where my kids come in and say, when's dinner ready? And this is where I send them outside and tell them not to come back for at least 30 more minutes. I'm just being honest here. <laughs> okay, we'll let this melt, and when the cheese is melted, I'm gonna add a little seasoning, and you can do whatever you want. I like a little spice in my macaroni and cheese, so I'm adding a little cayenne a little paprika, and some thyme, which just adds, again, a little je ne sais quoi. Um, but you can add some fresh herbs, you can add chopped parsley, just whatever floats your boat. Okay, this is looking totally delicious. So I'm gonna taste the sauce because you really don't wanna undersalt it. 
You're going to pour the macaroni in here in a second. It needs to really have enough seasoning for the whole thing. So I don't mind taking one for the team and tasting the sauce. Oh my. <laughs> I need a straw. It's really great. So we've got hot drained macaroni. I'm just going to pour it right in. The kids are hungry. The oven's hot. The macaroni and cheese is ready. I'm going to pour it into this buttered pan. Boy, it takes muscles to lift up one of these. There's a lot of cheese in here. Oh, yum. I might leave a little in there and then I can taste test it for quality control while the rest is in the oven. Okay, we'll just smooth out the top. Oh my gosh, that looks so yummy. Macaroni and cheese is my life. There's no getting around it. I'm just gonna top it with some grated cheese. You can top it with breadcrumbs, toast them a little in the skillet and that gives it a nice crunch on top. But I didn't wanna add any more time to this than I had to, the kids are starving. Now we'll put it in the oven and bake it for about 15 or 20 minutes till it's bubbly. And that's it. Okay, it's ready. And this looks exceptionally good. Of course, I say that every time I pull macaroni and cheese out of the oven. I love it every bit as much now as I did when I was eight. And I think just to be on the safe side, I better give it a taste. I wouldn't want to feed my kids anything that was substandard, of course. Perfect.